Okay, I got it out, and by the time I got it out, the seal that's supposed to be in the back was laying in the oil pan. I'm not sure if it was in the right place. I'm guessing it probably was, and then it flopped out as I was removing it. I don't even see, I don't even see any seal in the front. Uh, let's go under it and look. Cutworm also wanted me to shoot him a picture of this motor because he was talking about some of them are what they call a strapped main. Meaning that they have straps of metal straps. See that's where the rear seal fits up in here. And the front seal, I guess this is the front seal that's laying here. This little tiny piece of stuff right here. And it looks like it's into the around the cam or not it kind of looks like it was and if it was difficult to get huh. there's a tiny little shaft there that was all there was that just sat right on top of that okay it makes that turn so huh. good question I'm guessing this doesn't turn otherwise it would wear the front of the motor out and the pulley turns inside of this. I can turn that motor over a little bit. We can look at it. I don't see any straps. He talking about strap main has straps on them, and I don't know what that is. I don't see anything like that. Uh, okay. Well, let's. I'm gonna shoot a picture and send it off to Cutworm. He asked me to. So I will. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. An interesting little dealio over there. Sure is. Well, the trick's gonna be to get that back in there without messing up my gasket, because the way this came out, I had to woggle it all over to one side and everything. back in there I'm going to need for the gaskets to be in place and not all woggled out of place so it's going to require a little bit of finesse I guess I get that dipstick out that ain't working right anyway I get that out and replace it with a good one <clears throat> okay let's get out from under here 